Hi guys, it's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all of the content that I post. Also, be sure to go find me over on Instagram and Goodreads. I will put links to both of those sites down in the description below. Today's video is going to be a book haul. I always was like under the impression that I don't buy that many books, but I started going through my bookshelves and I realized that over the last couple of months, I have picked up quite a few new books. So I really wanted to share all of those with you. I'm hoping to get to all of these soon because I really want to start reading the books that are actually on my shelf. And all of these are ones that I'm super, super excited about. So let's just dive right into this massive pile that I've got here. The first book that I picked up is Written in My Heart's Own Blood by Diana Gabaldon. And this is the eighth book in the Outlander series. I actually don't own any of the other books in this series. I had just been borrowing them from my mom every time I read them, but she found this one and it's an extra copy. So she gave it to me so that we could read it together. And I've actually already started this one. I am almost 400 pages into it already. And I'm having a really good time reading it with her because it is the first one that we've actually gotten to kind of compare feelings and notes on everything that's happening. So it's just been a lot of fun. Um, but this is the first one that I've recently picked up. The next two books that I picked up are for the monthly buddy reads with Elliot Brooks and Jesse May. Um, I did the buddy read for January and that was Bruin of Kings. I put a full review of that one on my channel. So go check that one out if you have not already. But for February, the book that they chose was Legendborn by Tracy Dion. This one has been getting so much hype lately. I just see it everywhere on booktube, on bookstagram. Just everyone seems to be reading this book and they all seem to really love it. So I am super excited to dive into this one. I am a little bit late in getting this one because it was supposed to be the buddy read for February and we're already like more than halfway through, but it just came in the mail. So I'm probably going to start this one next. I honestly don't know that much about it other than the fact that it's supposed to be like a King Arthur retelling maybe. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's about a girl who slowly discovers that she has these magical abilities or this power within her and I've just heard nothing but great things about it. Also, I am just such a sucker for beautiful covers and this one is just fantastic. It is just so beautiful. I just love like the contrasting colors. I love the art. I just, I love everything about it and it makes me so excited to read it. This one, I am definitely going to try to finish it before February ends. And then the other book that I picked up for the Buddy Reads was The March Pick, which is The Bone Ships by RJ Barker. Again, this is a book that I know pretty much next to nothing about. I hadn't even really heard of it until now. So I am really excited to read this one. I think it's about like dragons. From what I can tell, dragons in this world have been extinct for a long time. And then rumors pop up that a dragon has been sighted somewhere and everyone goes on this quest to find it. I really love fantasy and this year I have been really trying to read more fantasy, especially fantasy outside of what I normally pick up. So I think this one will be a really good pick for that because honestly, it's not really one that would normally draw my eye, but I just love the dragon artwork. I just think that the story will be really fun and I'm excited to try and start this new trilogy. Also, I just think that there's something really fun about jumping into a series that you don't know anything about. Like I have no concept of what to expect from this. So I am really excited to read this one in March. So then kind of continuing with my goal of reading more fantasy this year, I picked up the first two books in the Farseer trilogy, which is The Assassin's Apprentice and The Royal Assassin. I talked about this series in my video about authors that I want to try and read in 2021. So to make sure that I actually picked them up, I went and just bought them. I only got the first two of this trilogy because I knew that if I read the first one and I loved it, I would want to have the second one right away. But if I read the first one and I don't love it, I haven't really wasted much money on buying the whole trilogy. So first two it is, I can always get the third one later. Honestly, I kind of wish that I could have chosen a different edition of these because I don't know, I just don't really like books with this kind of cover art. It just seems really cheesy to me and it doesn't get me that excited to read them. But these were the mass market paperback cheap versions. And so that's the ones that I bought. To me, it just doesn't really matter. It's still the same content in the books. And like, yes, it's nice to have like beautiful books on your shelf, but like I'm still getting the same experience reading this as I would from like a beautiful hardcover book. Also, they are a lot smaller than I thought that they were. For some reason, when I saw other people reading these, they seemed a lot bigger and these just like, I don't know, maybe the writing is really small or something, but they just don't seem that like daunting. So 
Hopefully I can read those soon. I have heard nothing but great things about this trilogy and I'm so excited to read it because I just know that it's going to be a favorite of mine. The next book that I got, and actually I got this one before any of the other ones, I kind of forgot. I got this one for Christmas. It is Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. From what I can tell, this is a heist book and I have realized over the last couple years that I love books about heists and thieves and like a gang trying to do something all together. So I think that I'm gonna really enjoy this one. I'm even more excited about this now because I did not realize that Robert Jackson Bennett was also the author of the Divine Cities trilogy, which I recently read. And so he has also become an author that I want to read more of in 2021. I just feel like there's nothing in this book that could make me not like it. And I have really high expectations for it now. Also, I just like keep wanting to look at the cover. You've got like a city burning in the background. You've got a brooding character at a window. So I don't know. I think it's going to be fantastic. I cannot wait to read it. And I'm honestly a little disappointed that it's been several months and I still haven't picked it up. I feel like I put it on my shelf and then I keep forgetting that it's there. But now I'm reminding myself, pick it up. You're going to love it. And I just can't wait. The next book that I have in this haul is one that I have borrowed recently from a friend of mine. And that is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I saw this one at her house the other day and I asked if I could borrow it. And I think that this will be the perfect book to read in between the more dense fantasy books that I'm picking up. This is a contemporary like rom-com kind of book about two authors who write totally different genres. One writes like your typical romance and the other writes literary fiction that's really like deep and dark and they are both in ruts. They cannot come up with anything to write. Everything isn't really working out for them. They make a deal one summer to switch it up and write each other's genres. Obviously, the two are probably going to fall in love. There's gonna be a lot of tension and chemistry and romance involved. And I really like romance books, but I have realized lately that I am really picky. I don't like anything too tropey or too unrealistic or anything that's gonna make me like really roll my eyes. And I don't think that this one will do that. I, I think that it will succeed seed and hit the mark for me. So I am really hopeful for this one and I just have to figure out when I want to read it because obviously I'll have to give it back soon. I can't just like keep it forever so I want to get to this one quickly. The next book that I've picked up recently is sort of a random one but it is The Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe by Fanny Flagg. I picked this one up from one of the little free libraries in town when I did my book Unhaul. This one was in one of the libraries that I dropped off all of my books in and so I picked it up. I've heard really good things about it. I feel like it's sort of a classic and I don't know really anything about it. So it's in really good condition and I just thought it would be the perfect one to add to my bookshelf. I can really anticipate this one being one of those books that sits on my shelf for a long time until one day I see it and I pick it up and wonder why I hadn't picked it up sooner. So TBD when I actually read this, but it's one that I am glad that I did find for free. And I mean, there's no harm in taking it. If I don't ever read it, it will end up in one of my unhaul videos and it will end up back at one of the little free libraries anyway. Okay, so the last three books of this book haul are all of my book of the month picks for January and February of this year. For January, as my main book, I picked up The Prophets by Robert Jones Jr. This book is so high on my reading list. I definitely think I'm going to get to it in February because it just sounds amazing. This is a historical fiction novel about two enslaved men in the deep south who are in a relationship or in love and they really find solace and comfort in each other's company while trying to survive their life of slavery. Initially, the two men are pretty much left alone to have their relationship. No one bothers them about it. But when another slave starts preaching on the plantation, people begin to turn on them. Their actions are viewed as more sinful and their situation becomes even more dangerous than it already was. This seems like a book that is just going to be a complete home run for me. It seems tragic and poignant and relevant and just beautiful and I am so excited to read it. I really haven't heard anyone have anything negative to say about this book. I think that this one is going to be a very emotional read and that's honestly one of my favorite things and so I am really excited to read this one soon and kind of let you know if it actually lives up to my expectations. And then for January I was also able to pick up one of book of the months like books of the year for free and for that one I chose The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I do not really read thrillers very often. It's a genre that I want to read and every time I see them or I hear people talk about them, 
they sound so much fun and it like I put them on my list I put them on my TBR and I never actually read them but this one it seems kind of short seems like it'll be an easy read and it was free so I figured now is the time to buy it. Everyone did seem to really like this one, so I think that it will be a safe choice for me. From what I can tell, this book is about a wedding that is hosted on this remote island with a bunch of guests who, you know, are not what they seem. A lot of people have secrets, a lot of people have histories, and then the weather turns and they are all trapped on this island and someone is not going to survive. One of the good things about the fact that I don't read thrillers very often is that the typical like tropes or twists that you find in thrillers are still new to me because I haven't really been jaded with all of the books that kind of repeat the same stories. So I think that this one will be a lot of fun. I'm not sure when I'm going to pick it up. It again isn't really that high on my list, but since it was free, I figured I might as well get it. The last book that I have for this haul is my February book of the month, and that is The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. This is a historical fiction novel set during the Great Depression in the Great Plains area of the U.S. and our main character Elsa has to decide if she is going to stay on the land that she has cultivated and fought for with her family or if they are going to abandon it and move out to California. Obviously this is a pretty long book. I think that it's going to be a lot more in-depth and descriptive than it seems just based off of the brief description that there is on the inside cover. I really love historical fiction like that. I think this is one that I'm definitely going to have to set aside a good amount of time for. The only reason that I would be a little bit hesitant to pick this one up quickly is that the description reminds me a little bit of like The Grapes of Wrath or something like that and I really didn't like that book. So I'm hoping that it's not really like that and that it's kind of new and fresh and entertaining and immersive. But I know that Kristen Hanna is a really popular author of historical fiction um, and a lot of people like her work. I have never read anything by her so I'm hoping that this one will be an okay place to start and that I will actually really end up enjoying it. So I finally got these in a pile. I just want to show you like actually all at once how many books those are. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so let's try this again. Here are all of the books that were in this haul. It is quite the stack. Honestly, I have not bought or like obtained this many books in a really long time. It makes me really excited though because typically my rule for myself is to just get books from the library. I usually get my book of the month. Every now and then I will buy a book here and there. So the last two months, like I don't know what got into me that I got all of these books, but I'm loving it. I'm having such a great time. So I cannot wait to read all of them. It's probably going to be a while now to the next time I go to the library since I have books for days. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this haul video. Let me know in the comments which book you guys think I should pick up first from this massive stack. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, make sure to like and subscribe and also go find me over on Instagram and Goodreads. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see all of you in my next video.